Good afternoon Philippines, Mike Padua here and we are back to our update on tropical depression crisis. The system has uh, weakened considerably into a tropical depression uh, which uh, started to deteriorate uh, across the landmass of Mindanao. So this is now our final update since the system is uh, forecast to become a low pressure area and this is for today Friday May 14, 2021. And this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update. Here is the fast animation from University of Wisconsin satellite server. As you can see, the system has started to uh, pick up steam. Some of its circulation has started to uh, wake up. And uh, because of its proximity to the uh, Sea of Sulu, or Sulu Sea, the system might... Uh, gain uh, intensity over the uh, waters of Sulu Sea but again based on the forecast it will just remain a minimal tropical depression or even weaken into a tropical disturbance or low pressure area. Uh, there's a, a upper level winds, moderate upper level winds affecting this uh, area over Mindanao and as you can see here on our zoom in satellite animation from windy.com you can clearly see here that the system is starting to reorganize upon uh, approaching the uh, coastal areas of Sambuanga del Norte. Uh, this, the storm is somewhere here over the Sambuanga del Norte area and it is expected to move out into Sulu Sea later this evening into that direction. So it will track towards uh, uh, Palawan. So uh, areas of the Sambuanga Peninsula are having some very uh, heavy rainfall, intense rainfall, with some squalls and thunderstorms which could generate some flash floods and landslides. So please take all necessary precautions. The trough is also affecting some portions of Mindanao, particularly Soxygen and uh, the ARMM, as well as portions of Northern Caraga. And we uh, are looking at the... Uh, Easterly surface wind flow affecting uh, eastern Visayas, which also includes some portions of southern Bicol. So those are the uh, two systems affecting uh, parts of the Philippine Islands. The rest of the Philippine Islands will remain good. Okay, and the weakening of these uh, tropical depressions was mainly due to the interaction with the rugged terrain or the mountainous areas of Mindanao. That's why the system uh, will not survive in this kind of uh, situation. But once it reaches the uh, Sulu archipelago, it might still regain some tropical depression status. But like I said, uh, within the next 24 hours, it might weaken further into a low pressure area. Our weather bureau Pagas already uh, downgraded it into a tropical uh, disturbance or LPA. While uh, the rest of other agencies, including us, the Typhoon 2000, will remain it as a tropical depression because of its structure, which is still uh, trying to uh, fight the uh, land mass of Mindanao. And it's now moving into much uh, good environment, which is the Sulu Sea. But the oceanic heat content this, uh, here is not uh, hot enough to uh, fuel the system. So we are going to observe this. Uh, within the next uh, few hours but uh, this is now the final update we will keep you uh, updated if it regains uh, tropical depression status or intensifies or uh, regenerate uh, we will issue again a word of TV update tomorrow afternoon or not if not we will be back on Monday but uh, we are still issuing updates to Typhoon 2000 uh, based on what we see on the observation uh, analysis of this tropical uh, cyclone. So uh, we are waiting for the latest data for 5 p.m. if it will be downgraded into a tropical uh, disturbance or LPA but by the look of it, it will still hang on as a tropical depression based on the 2 p.m. Uh, uh, winds, wind speeds but we will keep you updated on this system. And here's the uh, track that we issued around uh, 1 p.m. This is based on the 11 a.m. position. So it's here over uh, Lano del Sur and it will cross very near Marawi this afternoon. Actually, right now, it's uh, already over Sambuanga Peninsula entering the northern portions of Sambuanga del Norte. 
and it will remain until 8 p.m. as a tropical depression and later tomorrow morning it might be downgraded into a low pressure area as it passes over Cagayan Silio Island over the Sulu Sea and it might still affect and bring some heavy rainfall across uh, uh, central Palawan because of its remnants the remnant of this system which is still bringing some heavy thunderstorms along the way so please take all necessary precautions uh, people living over at Palawan for possible landslides and flash floods when the cloudiness of this uh, tropical depression passes by over your area within the next 24 to 36 hours so please take all necessary precautions now let's take a look at our forecast for the rain for the next three days until uh, this weekend this is courtesy of uh, uh, Windy.com. This is the uh, European model uh, rain forecast. As you can see, the areas of Sambuanga Peninsula, which includes Misamis Occidental, Sambuanga del Norte, will experience as of this time uh, heavy to intense rainfall of more than 50 millimeters. So uh, these areas might have a possibility of flash floods and landslides. So please take all necessary precautions. And uh, the rainfall will start to lessen as the system moves for the next three days uh, into these areas of the Sulu Sea and into uh, Palawan. Uh, Palawan will still have some heavy rainfall within the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. So stay tuned for that. And uh, that's the latest for this afternoon. We'll keep you updated on all the weather updates, or tropical cyclone updates on that system, as well as the uh, daily graphical satellite analysis that, that we issue on our website, Typhoon 2000. So from uh, Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Padova reporting. Stay safe always. Happy weekend to all. Be hashtag WeatherWiser, hashtag TyphoonWiser, and uh, thank you so much for watching our channel.